now let's have a look on how we can normalize data in talents and basically i have already prepared a use case for that we are, which we're going to see very uh, very soon in talent uh, but basically in short uh, normalize means increase or maybe to have some data duplication or maybe some data redundancy and then normalization is the other concept which basically means to decrease or maybe to aggregate or maybe to combine and join data in a very in a very precise way so maybe if you're not picking what i'm speaking so for that i have prepared this use case which you can see here on the screen so i have these three columns id name and sports and in the sports column i can see that john he plays cricket table tennis football and hockey and similarly peter for two sports and thomas also for one sport so we want to that's let's suppose we have a business requirement uh, mainly for reporting purposes that we want to have these multiple entries in individual rows right so splitting a multi-valued attribute into multiple rows so because what we want to have is the data on the right hand side so this means that number id number one and john this is going to be repeated but the sports they are going to be having uh, in multiple rows so ultimately if you see here on the right side so we have data redundancy in these two columns just consider the case when you have like 50 columns and in that you are repeating 48 or 49 columns so that's going to be very very worse on the on the database storage side because that's a completely data redundant uh, problem so if you want to perform such type of uh, such type of uh, operation so we have a component which is denormalize in talent and we can see it very quickly how uh, we can handle such type of normalizations in talent so we are in talent and let me open this t fixed flow input component because i think you guys know we can create some dummy data inside this component we don't need to read data from the uh, files every time it's it's better just read it use it files can be deleted files can be misplaced so it's better to have the data in memory so now we have this uh, data separated by semicolon but we have these sports column is separated by comma because we need to have some delimiter for that and we just uh, read the data we're gonna pass it on to the next component and then here we have the real crisp and we know that id and name uh, this is going to stay the same but we have the sports column which has multiple values so we're gonna select that column to normalize sports select it here an item separator for the sports column is comma just select it and run it and we're gonna see two outputs one in the t log row one then t log row two so t log row one is basically the actual data and here we have the data normalized so we can see one and john is now repeated and this this looks now pretty pretty handy for data reporting because if you want to perform some data grouping or aggregation functions then you cannot perform on this one because it's already uh, denormalized and you have these multiple values but here you have you have for example now if you want to see how many people play football so you just need to give this uh, you need to select football from this column and you can make a count but from here that was difficult because that needs to be processed first so that's how we do normalization in the next video we see the denormalization part but keep in mind uh, we're going to take the same data and we just revert back into this form so this is like the normalized data so as i said normalization means increasing and denormalization means decreasing just try to understand in these terms i know this is not the how databases define it we have this denormalization concept in data warehousing uh, which is pretty much similar but let's consider it like increase or decrease 